Hello guys, I have just spent the last two or three minutes searching through uh, my inbox and I have a spare five minutes to do a video. So um, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I've basically just picked the easiest uh, one that I've seen come up over the last day or two. But um, still, it's going to help these people. If you guys have heard the same blippy blip sound that I've used in a few of my loops and my videos and some of my songs. Um, it's this one here, I'm assuming. I think it's these ones. Okay, works perfect in the complex row loop on the offbeat and uh, on and on beat, but particularly in offbeat, it works really nicely to switch up between different synths. And I use it in nearly all of my loops. And I'll show you another complex row loop here where I've used it. Anyway, very simple. Decided I'd do it in the um, ES2. Uh, I often make them in the S2, but I often make them in Massive. It's really simple. So here is just... If I bring up this synth here... Okay, that's just an, a, a blank patch from ES2. And what I mean by blank patch is... Well, it's, it's been modified a little bit, but... Like I said in one of my earlier videos, the best thing to do with the ES2, because when you load it up, it comes with this crappy as default, I don't know, like pad, atmosphere type sound no good. So if you hold option, so if I was to hold down option and um, click it on, it puts everything back to default. Okay, so I suggest put everything back to default. So whatever whatever knob, whatever button there is, click on hold down option and then just click on it and it returns everything back to normal. Okay, so do that and then I made a, I made a synth. So it's just basic. That's just a square wave and a saw wave put together. How I get that blip sound is modifying the pitch, okay, modulating the pitch with the envelope. So down here, of course, you know, on that default one you load up, it comes with all those with random stuff. Again, I just hold held an option, put everything back to default. So nothing was assigned. Okay, so the target, pitch one, two, three, the source might just get that back up again. The source was envelope one, okay? And obviously it would be here, and I've moved it up to the top now. Still hasn't changed, because I haven't done anything here with the attack and decay of envelope one. Now I've got this on the retrig here, okay? And I get that, um, the bleep by just fiddling with these. Here we go, that's how I do it. Okay, and obviously if you play with them you can get... Um, I did a video on this obviously not too long ago, but this is just a clear video for those um, dozen guys who wanted to know how, how I make that blip sound. Basically, get up any synth you want, even the default synth in any, in any um, VST synth is fine. And all you have to do is route the pitch, uh, yeah, the envelope to the pitch, okay? And you'll get that real blippy sound, and it's awesome. Um, yeah, it's awesome for a complex row. So here's a loop I used, which I'll probably, um, I'll probably make into a song. Um, yeah, and you'll hear, and hear the bleep used, okay? You can use, like you can see, I've used them on the offbeat here, in between the kick and the snare. It's usually where I um I use them. So, I hope um, that helps those few guys that want to know how I make that blippy sound. Um, yeah. I uh, I've been busy as of late, but I'm still looking through all the messages, and um, I'm gonna be always putting out more and more videos. So, thank you guys for everything and all your following and stuff like that. It's real good. So we'll see you later.